little girl died after taking a very high amount of the painkiller tramadol she found left on her grand's coffee table, an inquest heard today. Caitlin Clegg, 12, left school early after feeling poorly and went to grandmother, Margaret Crook's house. She took the tramadol there in the hope it would do some good, but died hours later in her sleep, her inquest was told today. Promoted stories Margaret, the girl's father Jason Clegg and mother Kelly Kenavan had all been taking tramadol. The painkiller had been left out alongside ibuprofen and paracetamol tablets, both prescribed for Caitlin in September 2017. Recording a verdict of misadventure, coroner for Lancashire Richard Taylor said, whilst in pain she took the medication hoping it would do her some good. Tragically it did not. I have a picture of a 12-year-old girl who was in physical discomfort from unknown causes. Burnley Coroner's Court heard how toxicology tests showed a very high concentration of tramadol in Caitlin's blood, which had caused her death. Melanie Newbold, the pediatric pathologist who conducted the post-mortem examination, said, in most cases of child deaths at Caitlin's age we would look at sepsis and viral infections such as meningitis. However, there was no evidence of any of these. There were no signs of any underlying serious disease. Toxicology tests however produced a positive result. There was evidence of ibuprofen and paracetamol, but also a very high concentration of tramadol. Although we have to carefully interpret post-mortem results, which can produce high levels, in Caitlin's case it was very, very high indeed. It is impossible to tell how many pills she had taken or over what period. Caitlin, from Burnley, Lancashire, had suffered with asthma and appendicitis and arm pain in the months which led to her death. Her heartbroken dad Jason told the inquest his daughter had spent the night at his house on the Saturday before her death and had seemed fine. He added it was possible she had taken them from his house, but he did not know. Caitlin's mum, Kelly, also told the hearing how she had been prescribed tramadol, but was 99% sure Caitlin would not have had the opportunity to take them from her house. I think if Caitlin was in pain, knowing what all three of us take it for, then yes she would have taken it, she said. Mr. Taylor told how he had read text messages sent between Margaret and Kelly which were clearly loving, caring and concerned messages about Caitlin, but also a question over whether she may have taken tramadol. Detective Inspector Paul Barlow, from Burnley Sid, said, theoretically the tramadol could have been taken from all three relatives, but as she was under the care of her grandma at the time, and it was left on a coffee table within easy reach, then it made some sense to me that it was taken there. Read more top news stories from Mirror Online.